The healthcare professionals' PPE procedures demonstrated in this video are not to be used when caring for persons who have been screened positive for Ebola virus disease or when caring for persons who have been diagnosed with EVD. The procedures demonstrated here are acceptable only for screening practices. When screening patients suspected of Ebola virus disease, the following PPE is required. White fluid impermeable gown, gloves, N95 respirator, safety glasses, hair bonnet, and boot covers. As with any similar practice, begin with standard hand hygiene. The next step in the application order of PPE is boot covers to protect your shoes and lower legs. Second is the white fluid impermeable gown. Be certain to tie it around both your waist and your neck. Third, cover your hair with a hair bonnet. Step four is the N95 respirator. We're using this mask because it is thicker and provides additional protection rather than for airborne filtration. Step five is the safety glasses. The final step is to double glove. Apply the first pair of gloves over the cuffs of the gown, making sure that no skin is showing and that the cuff of the gown is captured all the way around your wrists. Then, put on a second pair of gloves. The PPE removal process takes place with the assistance of a trained observer who will be in the same room as you or an adjacent room. Both of you will continually inspect PPE during the removal process for any compromises, which are to be reported immediately. Begin by removing only your outer pair of gloves. Leave the inner pair on for the next couple of steps of the removal process. Drop these gloves into a container lined with three biohazard bags. The trained observer will then assist you by untying the gown from your neck, followed by your waist. Reach up to the shoulders and unroll the gown away from you until you get to your wrist and waist area. Remove your arms from the gown, keeping your second clean set of gloves on. Continue folding the gown inward onto itself and rolling it away from you until it becomes manageably small enough to throw away. Next, remove your boot covers, one at a time, by rolling them down and outward, throwing each one away as you take it off. After your boot covers, remove your gloves with our standard procedure. Throw those away, perform hand hygiene, making certain that your hands are as dry as possible, and then put on a clean pair of gloves. Starting with your safety glasses, reach as far to the rear of the temples as you can to remove them and dispose of them. Next, for your N95 respirator, reach as far to the rear as you can to remove the respirator and dispose of it. Finally, for your hair bonnet, reach as far to the rear of the bonnet as you can to remove the bonnet and dispose of it. Remove your gloves, perform hand hygiene one final time before exiting. 